Alright, so um, I'm here with my family and um, we're going to the onsen. Now, what's really nice about being uh, doing startups in Japan, um, you know, most of my work is, well, all my work is in America and in Europe. Onsen yeah, we're going to the onsen. That's Tommy. We, onsen. <laughs> we are going to the onsen. We go onsen. Going. We're, go we're going. Go go going. Going. That's I Mikey. Love, I love ice cream. Okay, you want Austin ice cream? Yeah. So what's really cool is when the alarm goes off at three o'clock, it's time to be pack up, be an entrepreneur, and um, you know it's time for me to be a dad. So I pick up my kids and I'm going to take them to the spa. I pick up my wife at six six ten. So um, it's uh, I pick up my kids around four. So I have two hours to spend with them every day, and I usually do something different with them. So, I mean, I think, you know, I look at an entrepreneur as being basically, you know, we are the philosopher kings of Plato. And um, ultimately, what we're trying to do is improve society and make the world a better place. Just, you know, the, the Plato believed that we should empower, you know, these visionaries, and they're really entrepreneurs, right? To lead society, they were outside of the sheep. Yeah, there's a kite. Yeah, and the crow. There's a crow right there. Ka ka ka. Yeah, you see his mouth open. His mouth open because he's hot. That's how they sweat. Their mouth open. See their mouth open because they're hot. So um, ultimately, you know what we're doing is we're building. Yeah. <laughs> What we're doing is building a platform that will basically allow anyone to be a philosopher king. Was that a girl and a boy? Ah, there was boyfriend and girlfriend? Wow. Yeah, you have a girlfriend, don't you? What's your girlfriend's name? Kananchan. And why do you... Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's bonding time for dad and sons, and these are the two most precious. I mean, I love, I love, I love doing entrepreneur. You can't marry, no, you're a little too young for marriage. You've got, you've got 26 years to go. You're gonna marry her when you're big? Yeah. Uh huh. That's right. When you grow big, I'm gonna be Gigi. G is his grandfather, right? Old. That's right. And then one day, I'm going to go where Mama June is. And you go uh -huh. Mama June? Yeah, one day. And so will you. So will Mikey. Well, I'll go back to Mama June. And then we come back. Before you were here, you were in Mama June area. Mama June died, passed away. So, you know, I'm trying to prepare my kids on the cycle of life. That it's just normal. It's natural, right? Death and life is just part of it. I'd rather my children know at an early age that one day I'm going to be going, you know, and they don't comprehend sadness or other things, right? So you teach them before they can they 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 can really understand the concept, and it's already they already know it. They already know this is going to happen. So how can they feel sad? Maybe I'm using my kids as a guinea pig, but that's how I'm thinking, right? Um, I want them to know that life is secular and and there is no end to life. There's just there's this there is a secular emotional life. It just there's an apparent end, but really it isn't. If you want to say the moment you stop breathing is an end, I just say it's a moment of transition. And you know, ultimately, how we can say that is based because of the uh, laws of conservation of energy and mass, and the fact that we're just moving from one state to another, which imposes the whole di the idea of a secular. So I don't know. You're like here watching about. Found us, but you know the whole idea here with um, uh, stepping it big and is for you to get to know me as the CEO of this next company because you know people invest in people right and what they're doing or they contribute or they participate right and um, you know I think that that I want you to understand who I am and my philosophy my thinking and and you know and and, and this is uh so this is we're arriving now at our just so you sure what I'm driving.
This is our onsen here, this big building here. This is where I go a lot. This is uh, like a public spa. And, um, and all cars here. Yeah, all the cars here. Uh, so yeah, there's a parking there. Let's see. You know, Fukui, where I live, some facts about Fukui is um, it is the, um, it's the number one energy producer in the world. Um, Fukui has, I, I, I don't know, 15 or 17 nuclear power plants. And, um, All right, we're here. So we're here. Let's grab the onsen bag. Bye. Onsen bag's here. Let's turn off the car. Bye. Yeah. Let's grab my eye touch. This is my eye touch. This is Mama's. Oh, it's Mama's now. Yeah. I thought that was yours. Yeah. It's yeah, it's yours. It's not Mama's. It's not Dada's. It's yours and Mikey's. I bought this for you and Mikey. Actually, uh, let's get on the other side. So I always take my kids out, actually, you know, because of parking lots and everything else. So when you move them, you can step over them, right? No, it's going to y'all. Here. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Put your hat. Eat that. There's Mikey. Come on, buddy. You gotta let him fight, struggle with the chair. You ready? Come on. Let's go. Go, buddy. Hey, hold on, that up. Yush. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. Yush, yush. You go man, go man, I crushed your foot a little bit. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, what's that that car there? Yeah. 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 Let's go. Plug mama's car. Here we go. Yeah, there's a Santa there. Come on, let's go. It's really close to parking here. Come on, hold my hand. Always hold my hand in the parking lot. <laughs> Let's go this side. Let's go this side. What do you mean? Go this yeah. way. Here. You go this way. You can do this side up. Oh, that's really good. You can do that. Not anymore. I used to when I was small. But well, now I'm getting old and slow. Here's a beautiful view. I don't know if many of us have plants. Here is, this is an onsen. This is uh, Makuni Sunset Beach. Where are you going? I oh, gotta go. Hey, Tommy, you better? I'm going down. Down. Okay. So, lock it. Here, let me do it. Okay. All right, hold on. Let me get the... Uh, so, uh, you come in to an onsen, and they have these uh, ticket machines. And everywhere in Japan, I mean, they're a cash economy, which is really interesting, but they really control their cash really well. They want everything to go into a centralized location. So, I've got a little pass here. This is the value, $35, $40. So you put the little pass in here. And then, um, you know, it lights up. I get a ticket for myself. And then I need to get 
200 yen. Alright. A pass comes out. Mikey, what are you doing? He lives there. Mikey's like, see, they all know him. I got dog, what did I say? <laughs> what are you doing? I got it. Kawaii, ne? That's a Kawaii, ne? Okay. Where's your Mikey? Call me. Oh, okay. Oh, what did I do with my. There's my. Pick up here. Pick it. Hey, how do you go? Hi. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, Mikey. <laughs> and uh, there's a collection. Oh, interesting. They're doing the voice. Man, they hear a little display. Hey, oh, come on. What's we got here? Here's uh, the beach, Sunset Beach and stuff out here. Come on, Tommy. Ice cream. I'm making a picture. Where's Mikey? Look at the view. Wow, look at there's no one on the beach today. Okay, we'll go tomorrow or something. What do you think? This weekend? Let's go, Mikey. Let's go. Let's go on set. Come on, Tommy, let's go. So I have to uh, turn off the camera here because we have a bunch of naked men. Hello, Mikey. Mikey, are you there? Mikey, are you there? Mikey, come on. Come on. Actually.